Welcome to the first part of the biotech tutorial. I'm Wolfram Franke and I'm the developer of biotech and I'd like to show you how you start a patch from scratch today. Okay, let's see. When you open biotech, it opens with a default sound, which is algorithmic spring, which is quite complex. Possibly too complex if you want to start from scratch. This is the main view as it was already in version 1.0. Now we added edit menus uh, where you can go deep into the synthesis, but more on this later. To start a patch from scratch, we go into the search box and just type default. And then we are presented with a couple of default sounds that come with biotech. And we select TY default by double clicking it. It's loaded. And as you can see, it looks a little simpler now because all the names here in these sections are removed and replaced by numbers. And if we go to the edit pages, we can see there are two sounds in this instrument. That, that means two layers that are working right now. So it probably sounds simpler already. Let's see when I press a note. Oh, simple sign sound. Okay. But... As you can see, here are two layers. We want to get rid of one. So we select the second one and just click on the minus symbol, which removes it. Okay, now we are left with a very basic instrument, which consists only of one sound, which plays a sine wave. The instrument or the sound now consists of lots of parameters, which we discuss in detail in the following tutorials. But here's a quick overview of the pages that are there. The instrument page shows you the different settings that you need to be able to browse it in the browser on the wild page. Let me show you the wild page here. You can see a list of the instruments. Let's get rid of the search. And at the bottom, you can see the different descriptions you have set. And on the top, you can select by style or whatever to filter the instruments that you are searching for. Let's get back to the edit page. This is what you set up here in the instrument page. The sound patch allows you to do similar things for the individual sound layers of your instrument and other common settings. Then we have the oscillator pages where you can set up the oscillators, filter pages with the equalizer, the effects pages, the arpeggiator page, and the modulation matrix. More on that later as well. And then on the bottom, you can see a lot of different modulation sources like the LFOs. We have eight of them. The envelopes, four of them. Sources one and sources two are several other non-modulating sources, but sources which you as the player modulate, like key velocity, release velocity, or these macro settings more on that later as well. Then we come to the modifier, which allow to make algorithmic changes to certain combinations of modulation sources. Three pages here. Yeah, and so on. After you've edited your sound, you probably want to save it. Just give it a name. You can do that in the instrument page here, or you can do it here as well. Just let's name it first. Try. Click on Save and click on the Save button. Now it should be presented to you in this list of all available sounds. It is first added to the bottom, but upon the next start, it's sorted alphabetically. You can also sort al alphabetically by clicking on the name symbol. Let's scroll up to show you it's there. Okay, in the next video, I show you how to create a basic patch and load your own custom samples.